prove yourself. He's level two as well. Looking for a possible bash. He won't be able to get the kill though. But Eve continuing to pressure the terribly back. You take a look at where the CS is for the side of the Radiant. Three heroes here at the top of the CS chart. But one, two, three, and a little bit of trouble. Beyond might go down. He takes one more shot from Mian Mian, or one more shot from Ray. Dust, he's level two as well. Looking for a possible bash. He won't be able to get the kill though. But Eve continuing to pressure the terribly back. You take a look at where the CS is for the side of the Radiant. Three heroes here at the top of the CS chart. But one, two, three, and a little bit of trouble. Beyond might go down. He takes one more shot from Mian Mian, or one more shot from Ray. Shrine taking a look over top. Beyond hit with the stifling dagger. They're continuing to go in with the frost shield. Beyond on the run. There's the firefly trying to get away. Mian Mian's here though with the flame break and tag teams used. So now Rain a little bit of trouble as Beyond looks back for just a moment, but well, if that look back, he gets killed off by the Frost Blast coming in from Ray. Mian Mian has to be careful because Ray does have himself the stick. The Frost Blast again. There's the Snowball. Still trying to run is the Lich. One more right click. Oh, the Stifling Dagger though. Now with the Frost Blast, now gets the shards out to get the kill, but the Phantom Strike in. One more shot gets the kill on Mian Mian. Letting 1, 2, 3 really find his way back into this lane. And they look over at Beyond once more because XM is here with the Fable. Telekinesis lifting him up. Firefly, 3 stacks, 4 stacks, sticky napalm. Oh boy, Fable comes in and there's another kill over at Shards to back off. Dust going down over at bottom. This is to Eve. And that was with the Chronosphere. Play because it makes sure that they know where that ward is and they can get the ward easily. But over at top, we take a look beyond a little bit of trouble. The Frost Shield on the 1, 2, 3. Ray also trying to chase beyond, getting hit with the Stifling Dagger, ends up dying. Easy. 1, 2, 3 might be a little bit of a problem, but they finally get the Fable off the Snowball comes through, as well as the Telekinesis. 1, 2, 3 might die, but the Phantom Strike onto the high ground. Now they've got Dust coming in with the Metamorphosis. CDC, they lose 1, 2, 3, and the Lasso comes in onto the Lich. The chase is on, um, but the Fable is there. They'll trade one for one. Chronosphere coming through. That's on a Dust. Let's see if he's got the damage. It also hit on the Miami and Dust now gets the Sunder. Oh boy, but the time dilation and another two kill. Shaker and Eve go down. Toss Kicker is dive over, looking for the stolen charts to block him beyond, but they've got the Frost Blast getting him low. Now the Snowball all the way over with the Walrus Punch taking out Shaker. The time dilation is going to come out on a couple of these heroes with a nice telekinesis through onto beyond. They'll get themselves one. They're looking for more, and now they'll find a second onto Daydream. XM gets the double kill and continuing forward to try and find Yam Yan. Chases on the frost blast is there the shards block him out, but the fable comes through as well as their own shards blocking him Yam yeah, Yan and frost blast from Ray gets the kill Tower taken by Eve and now he goes for the kill on a daydream first hit bash two bashes coming through Easy kill there. Meanwhile, over bottom, the snowball comes across all the way to Phantom Sass, and they've got themselves the last, so that's going to lock in the PA. They also drop down the Supernova. Not too, too sure how well that's going to work. The Sunder on top of that Ray's in a lot of trouble with the Frost Shield on top. Beyond chasing in. Nice Chain Frost doing a lot of damage, bouncing back and forth. They've got the Chronosphere on top of that. That's going to be one on to Dust, as well as Mian Mian going down. Telekinesis, Daydream. Trying to do all he can with Shaker coming over. The disruption hits on the Eve, but the Fade Bolt coming through. And the Icarus dive on top. Meanwhile, bottom Frost Shield comes out. Chronosphere trying to land both Man Man as well as the Bat Rider, but he doesn't grab them both and even a lot of trouble. We've got the Supernova laid out, but... There's no way that that's going to survive. Now the disruption comes through as well as the stone gaze. One, two, three goes into a losing battle, and they'll lose three. They're looking to find dust. That would be huge. Chronosphere laid down immediately with the rotation coming over. Ice Blast on top of that. They'll get the kill into dust. 
Just coming over. If they can get one on Eve, that could be a problem, but they get the Supernova to come on through as well as the Telekinesis on a butterfly effect. This fight's actually taking place over towards the shrine as this one over here with the Faceless Void. They get the kill on Ray. They get the kill on Eve. Now they look over at the Rubik. Telekinesis on the Beyond. Now trying to get the kill. They've got the Sword of the Diffusal Blade moving in. Now with the Time Walk and that Bash. Getting that bash to come through and come into the works here for Eve and continuing forward for Butterfly Effect. Maybe not the move to go for it. The Stone Gaze and now the damage with the Walrus Punch hitting to oblivion was that Rubik. Now they look over to get the kill on a Butterfly Effect, but they've got the Sinister Gaze. The Snowball's there to avoid it. Butterfly Effect and Miami and go over towards Eve. Butterfly Effect, low, ends up surviving. There's the disruption to keep him. Walrus Punch on a Shaker. And they also... We'll find the Icarus dive. There's the supernova. Mian Mian. One shot away from Shaker going down. And now Mian Mian trying to TP away with the Chain Frost coming out. He ends up dying. They look over at Dust doing a lot of damage here. And they've stolen the reflection or the Conjure image actually. Sunder comes through. One, two, three. Gets a kill. They look over at Dust. They're finding another one possibly. This could be three for the side of CDC. Something they desperately need. And they'll get it. Might even look to fight here. Eve moving over. Spots the illusions. And now Eve taking so much damage. Forced the time walk back. Eve moving over. Has time walk in a moment. There's the sinister gaze. Time dilation comes out with a disruption hitting. Stifling dagger and daydream's dead. So they do find a kill on the exit plan. The smoke's broken. Icarus Dive comes through. There's the blink with the Stone Gaze coming out immediately. They've got the Telekinesis as well as Butter Beyond Butterfly Effect getting hit up by the Disruption to keep him alive for a moment longer. XM's already dead. The double kill is there as they take out Ray. The Supernova on the back lines that they don't even care about. The BKB is going to be popped by 1, 2, 3, but the damage is there for IGV to get this kill. Three heroes dead on the side of CDC. That Sunder Eve. He does have the Chronosphere, but he's got to be careful. The Telekinesis comes out as well as the Sinister Gaze. They look for the kill on a Ray. They'll get it. With the illusion coming forward, Eve goes in, and there's the Chrono with the snowball. They've got the Supernova. Let's see what they're able to do. But look at the right-click damage coming in from Dust. The Supernova gets off, stuns up a couple of these heroes. They look for the Aegis, but it's going to be picked up by Butterfly Effect. They'll lose the Void. They'll lose the Lich as well as the Phoenix. Now they look over the Phantom Assassin with the BKB, but he's already gone. Four heroes dead. Phantom Assassin as well as the Phoenix to try and hold here. XM comes through with the Firefly. Snowball across. Mian Mian. Aggressive. And paying for it. Look like they're gonna leave their base. They just to be reclaimed in just a moment. The lasso comes through on an illusion. Now they've got the stifling dagger that bashes up butterfly effect for a moment. Sunray on top. Now the stolen lasso brings him beyond. They might be able to get the kill. Ray getting low. He throws the chain frost. That's gonna bounce around a Miamian. They've got themselves one chronosphere on a two. Let's see if they've got any follow-up to this, but the stone gaze is there. So it's so hard for them to come back in. They look over the supernova. It won't pop. They lost the lich as well.